But I did have a follow up to that. Uh, what would you say to anyone who was like scared of the symptoms? Uh, what would you say to them about getting the vaccine? I uh, would just bring it back to what Zita was talking about in regards to this herd mentality, uh, the herd immunity, just mm -hmm. kind of, it's above uh, just, oh, I'm going to feel kind of bad for a day or two. It's really about this community. It's really about your grandparents. Your, um, I have parents that are reaching that age of uh, being able to be on Medicare. Um, just they are a population that is more likely to have an adverse effect if they contract this uh, virus. Um, mm. I've heard time and time again from different attendings, different doctors, students, um, you can carry this disease in your nasal pharynx, which is just your nostrils. And if you're talking to your grandparents, say you've gotten immunized, you've got your two doses, you feel like you can travel around the world, you never know when you can contract it or you're carrying it. You go to your grandma's house, you're just having dinner, and all of a sudden she contracts COVID-19, even though she's never really left her house, she's been abiding by all the rules. And it may have, you don't know whether you or you or somebody else gave it to them, but it's so hard to track because this uh, disease is so easy to catch. I mean, you just don't want that on, I personally, maybe I'm talking for myself, you don't want that on your conscience. You don't want to be thinking, oh, did I, I mean, I was out and about, I got vaccinated, I had no idea. It's just peace of mind. It's just looking out for your fellow, just your fellow man or woman in your community. It's looking out for our elderly. It's really just looking out for our immunocompromised. It's just doing your civil duty. It's kind of like, I feel like it's the equivalent of voting. Something that everybody that's able bodied to do should do because it's just, you live in this country and you know, if you're lucky enough to get the vaccine and you have the opportunity, I really, really encourage, strongly encourage anybody to do so.